Hello, fellow resin printers. Hello, Halo Mage Pro owners. Today, we are going to change the release film on the resin vat in the Halo Mage Pro. The release material in this printer is very sensitive to pressure denting and ripping or tearing. You are going to need to replace it. I have ordered this official Creality resin release film from Amazon. You may also be able to find it on Creality.com's web store. To get started, the first thing you are going to do is open the awesome door on your Mage Pro. Once it's open, you will have access to your resin vat and you'll see the damage you did to your release film. Unscrew the knobs on both sides of the resin vat. Be sure they are completely unscrewed from the printer. Once you're sure, I want you to take special care of the resin fill nozzle in the back of the printer. This can be broken. We do not want to do that. So I like to pinch it and work it up just a little bit. And you will see its pressure level has released and it's now up and loose. We can now carefully lift and remove the vat from the printer and the nozzle continued its journey all the way to its top resting position. The nozzle now looks like this in its upward position. Be careful, there may be some residual resin in the nozzle. Don't ask me how I know. And here is the pressure switch. Pushing this lowers the nozzle, releasing it raises the nozzle. So always be aware that these two parts go hand in hand. Close your lid to protect your screen while you continue your job. The first thing I'm going to do is create a safe and clean working environment by putting down two rows of Scott's Blue shop towel. This shop towel is available at most major stores, including Walmart. It's very strong, it's very absorbent, and it doesn't shed or leave fibers. This is great for cleaning your printers and creating a clean work surface when working with models and parts. This protects the surface itself from any stray resin drip, and it also protects your new beautiful vat from any bumps or bruises on the surface you may not be aware of that may compromise your beautiful new resin film. Speaking of resin film, here is the broken resin film. You are gonna find the Allen keys that came with your printer and check to have one that fits. Or you can buy your own fancy tool and use that. Go ahead and unscrew every single one of these 9,000 screws surrounding your resin release film. With all the screws out, simply pull up and release the metal plate holding your release film in place. Carefully place that on your clean surface. We don't want to scratch that up either. And remove your crappy ruined resin film and toss it on the floor. Just kidding, don't do that. It's probably full of disgusting resin residue. Speaking of resin residue, now would be a good time to take something like cheap alcohol wipes or alcohol in a spray bottle, spray down your vat, and wipe it down with those cloths to clean it up of any random resin residue. Notice my blue shop cloths are down and will absorb all the random alcohol that I'm spraying. I use 99% IPA. I get it in 12 packs on Amazon. I have a subscription. They send me a pack a month. I'll leave a link for you in the description in case you want to try it. Now that you've cleaned your vat, flip it back over and open up your five pack and remove one sheet. Here is the release film. You will notice it is clear. Unlike the original replacement film that came with the machine, this one does not have a label telling you which side is up. Therefore, both sides of this material are identical and you may place it in any orientation you wish. Go ahead and peel one side of the protective film off. and gently place that side over the print vat. When putting the film down, be very careful. You're gonna see that it's bigger than the bed and you wanna kinda of line it up so the overlap is even. You will also be sad to notice there are no pre-cut holes, not even notches for the large screws. I am going to take little cardboard boxes and rest my vat on those boxes so that the screws retract. and are no longer in the way of my release material. 
with the screws out of the way, go ahead and peel off the second layer of protective film. Again, make sure that your overlap is roughly even on all sides of the print bed. Now, we will take our metal plate and very carefully place it on top of the new resin release film. Match it up with its slot and examine your film to make sure it's sticking out evenly on all sides. We will now begin the nerve wracking process of punching our own holes and installing every single one of these 10,000 screws. I am going to start with the four corners. Putting the screw on the tool, I'm going to press gently, put my finger on the hole, and punch through the material into the hole. You will find the screw goes through fairly easily and it starts to pull the bracket down into the vat. That's when I will go ahead and do the opposite corner. Because it pulled this corner down, this corner will have been raised a bit and it will allow you to see that hole and know that you're aligned pretty good to gently bring it down and force that screw through the material into that hole. Again, only a couple of turns. We don't want to warp anything. And we'll do the next corner. Take your pick. Turn and light pressure. Again, once it starts to press down, stop and go to the next corner. Place the screw, put the tool, gentle pressure, and turn. It will go through the material and begin to grab. Now we are going to go ahead and continue with the rest of our screws. I'm going to do the centers and then the outsides to keep this thing from warping too much. Once you have all your screws lightly installed, go ahead and start to tighten them down, starting at the corners. We're going to do it like lug nuts in a car. We're going to take a star pattern. We don't want to keep cranking down one particular side and warping this bracket. So we're going to go a little bit, bouncing around the plate. Check to make sure your screw is at least below the vat. If it's not, go a little bit lower and make sure they're all below the vat. This is not a very scientific method of checking, but it'll help. I'm not over tightening anything. Once I feel like the screw wants to stop, we are done and you should have a nice, taut and flat resin release film. Remember the two knobs that we were protecting from pushing through. Now is the time to push them through your resin release film. Congratulations, you have successfully replaced your damaged resin release film. Back to our printer, open up the flip door. Inspect your screen for any foreign substances. If you see any, use a Scott's shop towel to gently remove them. Mine had little bits of what looked like resin streaks, so I just used a little touch of 99% IPA and just gently buffed them out. No pressure at all, just letting it rest and just working over it with the cloth. Because the cloth doesn't shed, you're left with a clean screen. Grab your screws and pull them up or let go of your print bed. Now you can place it down carefully without your screws scratching the glass. And you are going to see it doesn't go all the way in. That's because you have to lower your resin fill nozzle. So we are going to take the bed, tilt it up a little bit and get a little pressure on the lever under the nozzle. Push that down and the nozzle will start to move. Continue working that nozzle until it comes down more, then place the bed down and push it in the rest of the way until the nozzle snaps into place. When you first do this, a time or two or three, the nozzle and its mechanism will be a little tight. After doing it a few times, it'll become much easier. Line up the screws in the printer with the screws in the vat and tighten it down. 
If your nozzle came down, your screws should pretty much be aligned already. And there it is, your beautiful new Halo Mage Pro resin release film and vat ready for use. And there you have it. We have successfully replaced the resin release film on a Creality Halo Mage Pro resin printer. Hey.